Hi, I'm going to talk a bit about the MA and MFA creative practice dance professional practice pathway, which is run as a collaborative partnership between Trinity Laban, Siobhan Davis Dance Studios and Independent Dance. So the main focus of this programme is on creative practice led research. Um, it values creativity of all kinds, so anything that emerges from dance or embodiment and takes therefore a kind of expanded view of dance and choreography and the way that that interrelates with all sorts of other disciplines such as visual arts, uh, architecture, science, ecology, theatre. The programme is designed to be flexible and bespoke to tailor for uh, people's existing work commitments. Um, there are four taught modules on the programme and uh, a self-directed research project. Um, it can happen either as a part-time MA programme for over two years or a full-time MA programme or if you do the MFA programme you would take two years but you would do the first year with the taught modules and the second year would be wholly devoted to your research project. Um, out of those four modules, uh, two of them happen at Trinity Lab and they are research lab which is looking at particular methodologies of research and the, diff and the relationship between theory and practice and another one would be an optional module uh, or a, uh, one that you select out of, a, out of a menu but there are two key modules in this particular program and they are embodied practice and investigative practice and they run over two blocks of five weeks. So embodied practice would happen in the January, February and investigative practice would happen in the April, May period. And these are designed to be kind of really immersive studio based uh, sessions. They are partly taught through um, experienced artists coming to sh share their practice and approaches in seminars and also partly some of the time is self-directed. And the key to these these periods is that as a peer group, you develop this real sort of connection of working alongside each other on individual research, but in the sort of, in a sense, witnessing and reflecting on each other's practice. Um, also, there's a sense that the sort of time commitment of working daily, 10 till 6, creates this sort of a, almost like a confrontation with your practice and a sense of ability to really find transformative moments. So in total, I would say there's about 70 or 80 hours of contact time with artists and tutors and about 50 or 60 hours of self-directed time. It's aimed at mid-career artists usually, although we do sometimes accept gradu uh, recent graduates who, may, who we feel have a kind of mature outlook to their learning. Uh, the cohort tends to be international. Uh, a lot of the people tend to consider themselves as choreographers but not all of them do and some don't really even identify as professional dance artists so we, they may have professional practices in music or theatre or visual arts uh, but still feel like movement is a core research. Um, some relationship or experience of somatic practices is quite useful for this programme. Somatic practices would mean training in dance that has a sort of, that comes from a sort of felt sense perspective or a first person perspective. Um, we do however accept people with all sorts of dance backgrounds and we also welcome diverse physicalities and learning abilities.